Alright guys, who's down on it? Dan here again and we are back for the second episode of Mozo Fish Files and this one we're going to be talking about the sawfish. Now the sawfish, also known as the carpenter sharks, are a family of rays uh, characterized by a long narrow flat nose lined with razor sharp teeth so they like so they look like a saw I guess because that's what it looks like. Uh, there's several species of sawfish that can grow up to 7 meters long, which is actually like 23 feet, which is quite insane. That's a pretty huge fish. I've been looking up quite a bit now, and um, I'm not sure if they're saltwater or fresh, because I've seen things of in saltwater, and then they move to fresh water. So, yeah, maybe because they are like rays, so rays can do that as well, I think. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, they're pretty much like that. All species of sawfish are listed as endangered or critically endangered by the IUCN, which is like because they're obviously overfishing and like habitat loss. You know, they're obviously dying off. Um, I didn't even know they existed, so like they're obviously like an endangered sort of species. After reading up a bit more of their extinction rate, um, there's actually only less than 10% left from when they were like from like when they was at their like highest point and uh, there's the small tooth sawfish which is now which they have lost about 90% or perhaps 95% or more so these guys do small um small tooth sawfish they're really like close to extinction probably like under a thousand I reckon, I reckon. um probably more actually I don't know how many there was to begin with um but yeah they've um you're not allowed to catch them. Well, you can catch them if you get by accident. I mean, like, they have to be released, and that was like, like banned globally. Fish like fishing for them since 2007, which is nice to hear. You know, it gives them like a bit more chance of survival, I guess. Um, that doesn't stop it though, because I see this video on YouTube. It's a massive, massive one, and they they uh they killed it. Like they caught it and they killed it, which was quite sad because like you know they're endangered and like. You know, there's plenty of fish in the sea that, like, there's millions of, you could, like, easily take a different one. It doesn't have to be this beautiful fish, but, yeah, things happen. People are, like, cold-hearted and shit, so, yeah. Um, also, looking up, there's a, a world record for the, um, the longest, like, saw of this. And it was about four feet, like, recorded. And this was, this wasn't even on the live fish, this was just a bone. And four foot long is, like, longer than my aquarium, so just looking at it it's hard to like picture how big this fish really is and onto the subject of feeding for these guys uh they probably other fish i've seen like a couple feeding videos and they like i've seen one where it actually uses its um like nose to like like completely slice this fish into pieces and then it goes along the bottom and it eats it up it's proper insane to watch you should definitely check it out but they do they don't always use this nose that they have uh, I've actually read up and they actually have they're actually full of pores that um that can detect sight and movement I guess on the like the bottom of the sea floor which is pretty interesting so they don't only use it as a weapon they can use it to find like what they're looking for which is probably food here's a nice little fact sawfishes are actually nocturnal usually sleeping during the day and hunting at night despite their fearsome appearance they do not attack people unless provoked or surprised the small tooth sawfish is well known by fishermen as a prize game fish because of the fight it puts, puts up once hooked which I could probably imagine because imagine hooking it, it if it done a couple spins it tangled your line up like in its nose and then it would, it would break your line up and if it got hooked on one of those like teeth that are like outside its mouth which is weird to think about and then that's probably gonna break your line I guess so yeah definitely a prize fish as long as they put it back I mean if they're not gonna put it back and that's sort of a, like a shit move they should like completely ban even competitive fishing for these guys because they are so endangered I guess because like at only like 80% loss or 95% loss on those small tooth ones that's pretty and you should have some pretty strong laws to like not be able to fish for those at all but that's just my opinion, I guess other people don't care as much. Now onto the breeding, I couldn't find much on the breeding, except they do breed live pups. I don't know how many, because like, I've been looking around and it doesn't actually say how many. I guess there's one then. Oh no, it says live pups, so I guess like maybe like two or more. 
I guess. Uh, I would wonder how that would happen because, like, if they gave birth to live young and then they got that huge sore on their face, I guess, like, I don't know how that would work. Okay, guys, so after reading a bit more, I found out that the uh, while they're in the mother, like, the, the parts, their, their teeth are actually soft and flexible to, like, to protect the mother during birth process, I guess, which is obvious, otherwise I would think, like, you know, that's not going to work. Um, <laughs> but they evolve much, so, yeah, they um, got their head around that one, I guess. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video, I think, guys. Overall, I think this is a really awesome fish. Quite massive, if you do think about it. I mean, like, 23 feet is probably bigger than your aquarium. If it's not, then I definitely really wanted to check out your aquarium, because that is a massive, massive tank. Uh, if you did want to keep these guys, you'd have to have, like, the Pacific Ocean in your backyard, so uh, yeah, good luck with that. Um, yeah, I definitely think these are endangered species, and there should be a lot more laws to protect them because obviously people don't really care about those, and they're still like taking these fish out of the water. And eventually, it'll be sad to see them become extinct. Uh, but yeah, overall, really awesome fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Monster Fish Files. The next one will probably be, I think. I think it's either the African pike or some sort of catfish. I don't know. I have to get back to you. Well, you'll see it in the next episode. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.